Hi, welcome back to our five minutes Chinese. How's your weekend? I hope you enjoy your weekend. Anyway, I have a very good weekend. It's a very beautiful weather. Beautiful. Still remember how to say beautiful in Chinese? Piao liang. Piao liang. Okay, let's look at the full sentences we left last week about piao liang. Sentence number one. 中国是一个很漂亮的国家 In this sentence, the sentence pattern I ask you to figure out is supposed to be Subject, 中国 mm -hmm. Verb, 是, 是 uh -huh. Now what is the object? The rest of them, you can call it object But if you have no idea of what is object, it's fine Just I need you to find out subject and the verb. Uh -huh. uh, usually subject is a who or what. Who or what. Mm -hmm. And in this sentence, I want you to remember this pattern. So when you meet the subject plus a verb plus adjective, here's the adjective, right? And after adjective, it's not done, it's not the end of sentence, it's still something followed like the noun. Mm -hmm. In this sentence pattern, the, the Chinese sentence pattern is supposed to be subject, verb, no change, adjective, no change. But after adjective, you have to use the to connect the adjective and the noun after the adjective. Remember, here is one of the function of the the. The has two functions. The first function is a possession. Second function is to connect the adjective and the noun. Remember, in Chinese, you cannot put an adjective and a noun together directly. They have to be connected by the, by the. So in English, you will say, beautiful country. In Chinese, we will say, beautiful the country. So, 漂亮的国家. In this sentence, you cannot miss any, you cannot miss any word. Every word in sentence you have to translate. Let's take a look at the other one in this group. 中国很漂亮 In this sentence, the sentence pattern is very easy. Chinese, I mean subject, subject. Where's the verb? The verb in English is is. China is a very beautiful. China is very beautiful. So in English, the verb is is, is. But in Chinese, you don't even translate. So let's let me draw the conclusion. The subject the sentence pattern for this sentence is if you meet the subject and M is R and very and adjective and after adjective it's done. There's nothing follow the adjective. Adjective that word is the end of the whole sentence. In such sentence pattern in Chinese, we never translate translate M is R. That means we never translate the word. You can skip it. You can skip it. That is why the correct sentence translation for this sentence is 中国很漂亮. Instead, 中国是 很漂亮中国是很漂亮 That is not correct Because when you meet a sentence pattern The subject plus M is R Plus very plus adjective Adjective is the end of the sentence In such a situation We don't need to translate M is R It is not optional It is you must skip it You got it? You must skip it. Uh -huh. And some people ask me, how about if the sentence is just like this? China is beautiful. China is beautiful. There's no very. How can we translate? Very easy, remember. No matter in the sentence, in that sentence, it has a very or not. In Chinese, we usually always translate. Very there. We always put a hen there before adjective if the adjective is the end of the sentence. 
if the adjective is the end of the sentence. No matter there is a very behind the adjective or not, we usually often translate very there. Like you will say, China is beautiful. In Chinese, we will say, 中国很漂亮. You may ask me, hey Ping, I've never seen very. Sorry. Most of times, Chinese people are very reserved. But in this situation, we are very direct. We are very direct. We want to tell people very, very. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, since we have to figure out the two sentence pattern, let's take a look at sentence number three and sentence number four. They are also a group. 她有一个很漂亮的姐姐。Here, is um, the first function of the possession. I'm sorry, 很漂亮的姐姐 is still the second function of the. It means connect the adjective and the noun. You have to use the to connect the adjective and noun. This is number four. 她的姐姐很漂亮, here the is not the second function of the. It's not the connection function. It is the possession. 她的姐姐, when the is used as the possession function, you sometimes you can skip it, and you should know when you can skip it, right? So in this in this um, context, you can you can say 她姐姐很漂亮她姐姐很漂亮 That depends on how close they to, how close they to. You got it? Mm -hmm. That is what I want to tell you today, and. I will draw the conclusion at the beginning of tomorrow's class. Uh -huh. I'll see you tomorrow. 再见! Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Um, also, if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to us. If you are interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you! Bye!